What's going on YouTube? SpencerDog944 with another video of my 84NA and today I am shooting a special video my friend Patrick as a congratulations gift to uh, getting the Porsche finally up and running and starting and all that other wonderful stuff. He sent me the Armworks 944 belt tensioning mm -hmm. tool and I cannot thank him enough for this it was uh it truly is a wonderful gift and thank you so much for this patrick uh you are a good man and a better friend and i just can't tell you thank you enough so without further ado let's see if i had my belt and my balance belt uh tension properly so in the kit here we just open it up and here is the tensioning tool right here now it comes with a number on the bottom here. Mine's 64. So what you do is, yeah, you take, make sure that the number matches 64. Mine does, because I already have it um, pre-tensioned, but it comes with a little Allen tool. So if yours isn't, or if it's off, just take this, hang it, yeah, slide it in there like so, and then, uh, turn it to the left and that'll tension it and that way you can move the gauge to wherever it needs to be. Mine needs to be at 64. Whenever I'm done with that, just pop this guy in there like so. Tighten it, there we go. No, come on. There we are. So now it's at 64. Put that guy in there and tighten it down so it doesn't move, doesn't need to be too tight. And then we pop that in there. Now, from here, just press up on this part and then we let this guy out. And I can move that stuff off to the side. And so the next part is we actually need to connect the tensioning tool goes right about there and I'm actually going to set up a better shot. Before I set up that shot it actually shows on the back here where everything needs to be. Um, so for new belts it needs to be within 90 to 97. If your cam belt is used it'll be between 1 and 5 and for the balance belt um, anywhere between 5 and 15 will be good. So. Let's see where my specs are. Before you go and tension your belt or check the tensioning on the belt, you wanna have it disassembled all the way down to this part. If you're not sure how to do that, take a look at my uh, belt change video. I think it's like five or seven parts, maybe five parts, I don't know. But take a look at that. I think like the first two videos will show you how to get down to here. Uh, pull your spark plugs and the wires out and get the car to top dead center. I got mine right there. And I also have my other one right here. So currently, car's at top dead center. And now I can attach the belt tool, which I'm going to do. I have my tensioning tool hooked up. As you can see, the guide rail is sitting right there. Tensioning is sitting at 91 and a half, which is good. It's in between the ridges on the belt. The other side is right there, and it's resting up against the balance belt but it's not pushing too hard so it's sitting at not 91 90 93 and a half which is fine so now I'm going to get my 24 millimeter take this guy off just push up on that slide it out and then I'm gonna spin it around one revolution so it's at top dead center again and I'm going to test the tensioner and I'm going to do this about three or four times just so I can get an average on what the belt tension looks like. All right, so the just spun it around. Um, that looks good. That looks good. I maybe, yeah, I could probably back it up a hair, but that'll do all right. And so now I'm going to go hook up the tensioning tool again and get a good read on it. So, second time, got everything hooked up, 
sitting in there right, and this time it's sitting at 90 and a half. So now, rinse and repeat. Pull that guy off, and then I'm gonna go and spin it again. Test one more time. All right, that was looking like top dead center on that one. So, all right, we got top dead center there, top dead center there. Let's pop on this tensioning tool, see what we got. And this time, we're aligned, and I'm sitting at 92. So, 93 and a half, 91, 92. It's looking pretty good. And I'm just going to spin it around. Press down, pull out. Do one more time. And we'll take the average and see where she's at. So, back on with the 24 millimeter. So we're at top dead center again. Let's take a look, verify. I could probably move it over a smidge, that should be alright. Yeah, I'm gonna move it over a smidge. I don't like where that guy's at. Good on there, much better on that. And get my camera back. Let's see four times the charm. That's it. All right, so that's good. Now, back at top dead center, and she's sitting at ninety and a half. All right, so we're getting ninety and a half, ninety three and a half, ninety two, and yeah, so it's sitting right around, respectively. 92 and if I look on the back of it it needs to be anywhere between 90 and 97 so I'm actually very well within spec and the good news is is What do I have four miles on this car? The more it runs the more the belt will stretch out so in about another thousand miles I'll test this and See where it's at, but for right now this belt it's sitting good and now, let's move on to this guy. Nice little balance belt here. We're going to do the same thing. And this one needs to be within 
105 and 115. So let's see what this one's sitting at. Move it down. Oof. Okay, so mine is sitting at 128. So I definitely need to tighten that a bit more. So let me get this balance belt tightened and I'll be back. Okay, so I got my balance belt tightened and dear God, that was... um. That was a lot more difficult than what I thought it would be, but mind the orientation of the um, guide parts here. Now, these things were getting stuck in between those, which were bending them, which was messing everything up. So these things need to be flat, like dead flat. Now, this is where the instructions show, and it's right in between this one. And so both of these are flat. That's in between, and it should be sitting about anywhere between 105 and 115. I'm sitting on 111, so I'm going to, again, rotate the engine and check four more times. I'll be back with test two. All right, so round two of tensioning. Got everything all dialed in. Got the belt tensioner on there and everything is flat it's resting on the ridges that's in between that that's good and again okay so this time i'm sitting at 107 and a half so right now we're sitting at 108 maybe 109 probably about 109 between the two so i'm going to rotate the engine again give uh two more tests take the average and see if i'm in spec all right, cranked down for the third time. Timing, uh, timing's good on there. And again, we're still sitting at 108 and a half. So it's still looking like right around 108 last time and we're gonna take the average. All right, cranked it for the fourth and final time. Timing, again, good, good, and Let's see if I can put this thing on one-handed. I've done enough damn times today. I should be able to. So, how we're going to put this on is... There we go. Alright, see how it's slid in like so? And now at that point, see how it's kind of um, cockeyed right there? That's because the bottom piece is hitting the belt like so. So that's just got to get loosened up. All right. So that's nice and flat. Okay, that side's flat, that side's flat. Then I just got to... All right, so that guy's under there like so. And let's see what we're sitting at here. And we're sitting at... make sure that this thing's on correctly. Hold on. All right, and we're sitting at 11 or 111. So the average belt tension is 109 for it to be in spec. For this one, it needs to be between uh, 100. Here, God, let me get that glare out of there. It needs to be within uh, 105 and 150. No, two, what, four, six, eight. Between uh, 105 and 118, I'm sitting right around 109, so I'm dead smack in the middle. That is beautiful because I was sitting at 130 before. Um, now I can just go ahead and I got to put the roller back on here, put the guide rail back on, button everything up. If you need to see a video on how to do that and the torque specs, 
please watch the balance belt video I shot. Other than that, this little tool, there we go, fantastic. Absolutely worth its weight in gold. Um, the fact that I'm able to see, instead of doing the 90 and 180 twist, exactly where the tension is, it's definitely worth it. So again, Patrick, thank you so much for this. I truly appreciate it. And if I didn't have it, my balance belt, even with the 180 twist, would have been off by, what was it, 10, 15? So with this, I was able to get it dialed in, get her button back up, and get her running. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to, uh, yeah, leave them in the comments. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great day.